guys, and welcome to another episode of Geomine. As always, this is Zuljin, and from the looks of it, in my absence, somebody had a little bit of fun with animals in my in my little hut, my Kilika hut, and I see some chests and a sign at the end. I wonder if somebody left me presents. Uh, wolf's chest. Temporarily, temporary until I can find a base. So it looks like a bunch of cobble, some gold, ooh, some iron. Ooh, holy cow. Hello. Ah, wolf, man. You tempted me, dude. <laughs> no, it's all good. If wolf's trying to find a base, I suppose. He had a pretty rough outing the last time he went, but I can't have all these animals. They're going to drive me crazy. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and slaughter these suckers right quick and um, uh, just avert your eyes for the moment. Alright you guys, the damage is done. Poor little guys didn't have a chance, but they just make a too much noise and they have no place in this village yet. Um, looks like my boat kind of came off right there, but I got flowers, man, what a, <laughs> what a debacle I got here. Okay, so today we are going to focus a little bit on getting a route to the second hut. And what I need to do is just broaden up the whole pathway system here. And I want to go out another couple ways. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, out, and I'm going to do a little bit of centralized housing. Kind of like this, but I'm going to do the two-layer thing. And I'd also like to make some sort of market house. Kind of like the, the, um, the shop or the, uh, the shopkeeper's place in Kilika. So that's probably going to be the first deal and we're going to try the two story thing today. Well you guys, I got a good little start on my hut, but the second story thing is working out great except for this texture. The jungle wood just isn't working y'all, it's terrible. I went ahead and raised it up and I did a little stairway feature right here, kind of like the, the picture shows. And the actual color is close to what it is in the painting if I can run over and show you right quick but it just looks bad like really bad <laughs> it just doesn't look like anything um, so what I think I'm gonna do is use the spruce wood instead since I don't have any trouble harvesting that you see it is the pinkish color and it shows like the fingers coming out and stuff which we can't really emulate that really well but I think all in all it's going to look a lot better with the uh, the spruce wood. Uh, the spruce is going to give it the look of it being wet anyway, like regular wood being wet. So it'll just be a different look, but that's what we're going to go for. But I just thought I'd show you guys the, the process of trial and error I'm going through. Not too sure about the stairway design yet either. I might just try a few different things. I don't necessarily like the way it looks from afar. But I like how functional it is and how easy it is to get up. So we'll see. We might do something shorter. But in the meantime, I'm going to tear down this pink stuff. And uh, <laughs> we'll show you where we're at with the spruce. We'll be right back. Well, guys, I uh, messed around a little bit with a um, couple different types of wood. And the spruce is definitely it. I uh, like the way it comes out the water and, um, and really accents the hut without having those weird colors. Um, I pretty much did the same size of hut too, you guys, and the roof. I changed the roof just a little bit. I made it more round, and I think that's the, the general idea. Also, took the leaves, and they're a little bit droopier than the actual, um, than the other set of leaves, which I thought was good. I need to add a little bit of variation. Now that I got a couple huts, guys, a lot of the recording is going to be an issue due to the fact that I can't just keep making huts on camera for you guys. So I think what I'm going to do is every time I log on here, I'm going to try to make a hut um, at another spot. And for my recording time, I think I'm going to try to work on larger projects. The first project that I think I need to work on is my food situation. It's not as pretty, but I was just talking with Otter and... 
I'm thinking that an island is probably gonna be the best way to go for food and as you can see here this is just kind of messy right now so I do want to get an island started and I don't particularly think that maybe going on mainland is gonna be cool that's kind of an eyesore right there I don't know what I'm gonna do about that sooner or later maybe I'll do something cool maybe I'll build up and do some waterfalls or something I don't know but for the most part I think an island a forming island would be the um, the best plan of action for my food situation so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in that direction probably and start laying out um, some dirt what I think I'll do is come up from the surface and just make it kind of sprout out and um, you know just have like a small base but come up to a larger flat surface and possibly get some forms going on there maybe even some animals who knows yet guys so I'm gonna continue work on uh, getting some supplies ready for that I'm gonna need a ton of dirt naturally and um, probably some other materials so when I see you guys next time I'll show you where I'm at we'll be right back shaft down here and the thought occurred to me that I probably am going to need some more tools really soon so especially what I'm getting shot at down here okay hold on this is weird ah, I see what's going on that looks like a few skeletons hmm, this could be really really interesting I'll give you guys some light just a second Now I can see. But yeah, a couple more diamond tools would be really, really nice. Um, not to say I'm going to go on a big caving expedition, but I wanted y'all to at least see what was down here. Now, I knew there was an abandoned mine shaft, but this doesn't look like it's it. I'm trying not to break through the water, but I don't want to leave the materials behind, you know? Let's see. That looks like a way out. That was a whole bunch of skeletons for just randomness like that. There's another skeleton over there. I wonder if there's a spawner down here. That was the fourth skeleton I see. Man. Go ahead and kill this water. Ah, here's the... Uh, Here's the mine shaft that I was talking about. Maybe there is just a lot of skeletons. But yeah, that's another hole. Man. I see some chests that I definitely want to get. And I hear a spider. I don't know if that's a baby spider or what. That's another skeleton though. Where are you? Where are you? 
don't see. I don't see him, and I don't see where the arrows are hitting him. Ah, there he is. There he is. There's a few of them down there. Man. This is crawling with mobs. I haven't done too much caving on this server. Uh oh. Wow. Wow. Thank goodness for armor. Diamonds. Beautiful. I need to get some more life right quick. Come on, eat up. Eat up. Gain some health. Uh oh. That ain't good at all. Go, go, go. Run. <laughs> Run for your life. Oh no. Stuck on a whim. Alright. We're alive. We're alive. Got some health back. We good. We good. Man, those two diamonds just out the blue. I didn't even grab them. I thought I did. Got all my armor still. Let's go back for them again. Those creepers almost had me. Yep, we getting all that. We getting all that. Some gold. This is a pretty good haul. <laughs> I'm gonna come back when I don't have so much to lose. I got my aqua affinity helm on me and all kind of stuff. Probably not the best idea to hang around here when I got that kind of stuff on me, not with all these skeletons. I'm still convinced there might be a spawner down there. Really gonna have to do a little bit more exploring, but so y'all can see guys, that's pretty cool. Right underneath the base. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get back to the mission at hand, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Well guys, the island is gonna need a little bit of work, but for the most part, I at least have something started. And I think what I'm going to do between this episode and next is gather all of the dirt and such from my location there and transplant it here. I'm probably gonna come out towards the outer edge where it's too deep right here and come up just to make it wider. And I'm gonna have two basic form sections. I'm gonna have a tree form and I'm going to have a food form which is gonna consist of wheat and later on potatoes and carrots naturally. But right now the biggest issue is the tree form so I can get things started. So I need to widen up the island, but just an idea of how it's gonna look and, um, and where it's gonna be located is what I wanted to give you guys. So I guess I'm gonna call that an episode, you guys. I'm gonna head back to the mainland and start transferring some of those materials. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This is Zuljin signing off and have a good one. Thank you.